Hey guys, welcome to the NAP35 Lomo Lens. Today I put together a small, small little tutorial um, that's just gonna maybe help you guys out there um, try to, you know, get this lens to work for you. I know some of you guys have been having some issues with it um, down there in the comments below. Um, so, with all due, let's get started. Lens here. Uh, Okay, so here's the lens here. Um, <laughs> this lens is gigantic. I mean, I'm just like looking through it, through the lens here, and um, it's huge. When I first started, I had to think about what would support this type of lens here. So I looked online. I couldn't find anything. It was like super hard to really understand some other people's tutorials um, and they were like all documented like online you know you have to go and read and stuff like that so um, what I did was um, I got this from Lowe's and what this is this is a uh, let's see if you guys can see it here uh, it's pretty long this is a PVC piping or a PVC pipe um, and I kind of built this into a rig here. I used a uh, PVC glue and I also put together like uh, you see this metal bar here um, this metal bar or not this bar but this uh, a steel plate I want to say steel what was it sheet metal um, and I put this sheet metal together. I actually used um, kind of like a sheet metal cutter, and I cut this into shapes so that it would fit uh, this little square here. Um, I put two holes in there: one for the uh, mounting plate where the camera would sit in. I put everything down there in the description below on what you guys would need to build this contraption here. But it works for me. Um, it was also built for like a shoulder rig type of thing where you can hold it. Um, I really, I haven't really tested it with the shoulder mount. Um, I've only tested it onto the uh, the tripod itself where these, where this is here, where this would mount. Also, I had um, screws here that are fitting through the PVC piping. I'm not sure if you guys can see it here. Are these two, uh, four screws here, one. One, two, three, four. Um, and this lens would fit onto here. Let's see if I can hold it here. The camera would sit here on these two plates. Let's see if I can get these. These uh these two sliding plates here, so you can push it into it and then screw everything on. Um, I've bought a couple of, uh, what was it, I think it's step down rings. Um, so these step down rings also fit on the back part of this here. Now this is, um, this ring here fits onto the the Lomo 35, which is the it's a 104 millimeter uh, adapter. Um, so that fits onto the Lomo 35, and also has a step down that goes to a uh, what was it 18 to 200, I think, which is the uh, 72 millimeter. Uh, thread. Uh, this is a zoom 18 to 200 uh, Canon EFS and uh, yeah it's eight, yeah, 18 to 200 and these step down rings fit onto the front of this and they slide on which 
slides onto, oops, excuse me, which slides onto this here. The 104 attaches to the lens itself. Now, um, some of you guys have asked me, how do I get it so sharp? Um, what's the trick behind it? Well, I had a hard time first working with it. It was like, I, I couldn't focus it. I was like, what's going on? Over time, I found out that zooming in to, well, actually setting the Lomo 35 to infinity first, and then zooming in to your back lens, the 18 to 200, and setting it at 80 millimeters will give you a really good picture. Unfortunately, I couldn't zoom in any further other than that because it would you know, either go out of focus or anything below that you would see kind of like, I guess you would call it the bezels or you know um, the side of the, the lens. So 80 was kind of really the closest thing that I can get to a sharp picture. All the scenes that you saw in the video were shot at a distance. So if this was an 80 millimeter pushed in, it may, it may look like I was up really close to them, but it wasn't. It was at a far distance, which is another um, film thing that most of you guys you know, know, is that you, know, you can shoot long distance, which also gives it another feeling of your, you know, that the audience is appearing, appearing in on the conversation that is going on in the scene. Or you're appearing in on the lives of these these characters so that's another way that you can put it um, but yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, show you a few more things that I've done if you guys have any more questions um, please leave me down there please leave it down in the comments below please um, uh, subscribe and thumb me up it really helps out my channel so much I really appreciate the time guys and um, I'm glad to be doing this for you guys Alright, and uh, you guys have an awesome day, and I will catch you guys.